Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today is episode number 24, and we are carrying on where we left off, doing the Priest of Escalade mission. That one. I need to talk to him. Oh, okay. Right, so we need to get information from all these priests. I don't know what just happened then. The sanctuary of Asclepius, god of medicine. I'd rather trust the physicians. Hello. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours sit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, Don. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. This snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios. He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Dorios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes? are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water, and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Right, um... <clears throat> so we need to take a look at these underground pipes. Right, uh, let's loot that quickly. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. Where? Oh, here. There we go. Hopefully that's worked. <laughs> house free of snakes I flooded the bathhouse with cold water good riddance well well what uh, I took care of the snakes now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby <laughs> I actually don't know anything it was before my time 
The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> My lucky snakes. Ugh. At least I got a name. Midon. I so want to kill that guy. Like, literally want to kill him for that. Right, um... There he is. Okay, so we got one over here. Let's have a look. Hopefully we can get some more information, because we really need this information right now. Here we go. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. Right, we gotta follow him then. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Hmm. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates hmm. is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. Oh, but interesting. What really inspires his greatness. Much. <coughs> gods. The gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly, was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her... 
And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Don't give away all our tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary. Hmm. Right, so we need to meet him over here now. So yeah, the one about the dogs here, we had to use that as a way to uh, avoid suspicion. That old priest hiding by the tree. Here we go. Let's go. Find out what other information he actually has. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where's that priest? Right in front of you. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Die. Die, die, die. Okay, they did more damage than I was expecting. Die. Leave the poor priest alone. Oh, 
prick. There we go. All done. Where's the priest gone? Or did we accidentally kill him? He just disappeared. Oh no. <coughs> right, well we've got to do this one then. What is this through here? He's over there. Spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want. When this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people, but I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. Where exactly the is this bull, then? Are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. Hmm. Uh, why do you need it alive? If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Uh, what can you tell me about? Crisis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. Right, let's go then. I'll find this bull for you. All uh, right, track the quest. Ah, just off here, not too far. Come on then, let's go. Let's get this bull dealt with. Close to target. Right. Let's have a look. The white bull. Am I too late? Off we go now.
Right, uh, so we've tracked most of that. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go. Oh, come on. Die. Yes, lovely. Come on. Oh, that was a bludgeon to the chest. Oh, purple loop. Lovely. Nice. Dealt with. Uh, where's next? Doesn't look like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Not the best feeling. Good, gone. Lovely. Get rid of this guy as well. Nice. And assassinate this guy. Perfect. Completely dead. Right, let's head back then. Oh, I can't call my horse yet. I can't call Forvos. Run then. Run, run, run. Let's get that loot. Just make sure we've got that. And now we can call Forvos. Let's go. Come on. Run. Oh no, there's a lion there. Or a tiger, it could be either. Ella. I think we got away, which is good. Please help our daughter. Here we go. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arolis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. Oh, now this is difficult. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios. 
but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. Amazing. Quest complete. A heart for a head. Hmm. Okay. Uh, next is this one. Speak no evil. Let's go have a look. Oh, 6,400 XP. We're nearly level 20 now, which is good. We might be able to uh, run back to that other mission in a minute. Uh, interrogate me, me, me. Interrogate the elder priest. That'd be good. Whereabouts are you? Walk away from here now. Let's hope no one notices me here. You're a joke. Uh, didn't notice that at all. Right, uh, let's try... Okay, so they know I'm here, somewhere. <coughs> um, right. I'm waiting for these guys to forget about me. I need to forget. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Okay, they've all gone. In we go. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman. Was her name Rini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No? He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I'm not his servant. We share a sacred bond. Sacred? <laughs> right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my sister here, you and your priests left her for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's 
not what happened. What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. Interesting. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky she survived as long as she did. That that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Right? <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He didn't save he the child. He went for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to her, before finally leading her to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope. Priests without tongues and babies. Left with an insane woman! <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. Oh, she's part of the cult. Where is she? I've just lost her. Ah, here. Creases. So Creases is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maliatas. Run, 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 run. The guards weren't actually dead. Oh, and we're level 20 now, which is good. No, you won't. Right, um, where is it? Cultists. What time is it on my phone? Yeah, we have enough time. Let's go take care of her now. Right, so we have to go this way. Uh, one thing I will do quickly is go to our abilities tab and get this ability because I said I wanted this. Oh no, it default upgrades, so it's not a point. Ah, okay. Uh, right. Paralyzing animal, uh, paralyzing arrows to knock out targets instead of killing them. Hmm. I think it's time to upgrade Devastating Shot. Because we definitely use that loads. Get a load of loot. We actually need quite a lot of that um, leather, so... That is good. Come here. Come here, Forvos. Forvos. Come on, Forvos. Let's go. There's the altar of Apollo Maliatas. Off we go. Right, let's go.
Uh, how do we get up there? There's the statue of Apollo and the altar. A warning must be getting close. Why is there a crying baby? will die here oh no right let's get rid of this guy's shield bonk off your head Lovely. to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake! I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But she was. Oh, how your mother wept when that little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of her, placed her on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare her life, and they listened. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. What did you do with my sister? I saved her life by teaching her to suffer, to know pain so well that she would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now she will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured her? She was just a baby. I taught her to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave her strength. Can we kill her now? I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Themos strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. <coughs> you talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your sister. Here, let me show you. Take the baby. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. 
Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Grisis' reign of terror must end. If what Grisis said was true, Mirini believes my sister died long ago. I can't let Grisis walk free. I'll kill that Malakas. Right. Wow. We didn't get a killer. What a bitch. Urgh, that makes me angry. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button in me in the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.